Angelo Sinelli. Um, I've been in the industry about 38 years, legally. I'm really happy because of the product that I'm using. I've been around for so long that it's not really worth for me to take a chance in using something that is substandard or something that will put me in the wrong light with anybody. So make sure you just get a little bit, sprinkle it on it, yeah? And a little bit of pepper. Now this is the hard bit. Get a piece so big, and it, the, the, the mixture is not too wet, it's a little bit dry, just give it a bit of a roll, okay? And place it down. How simple is that? We're using chicken thigh because of the, of the texture of the meat, but this has been pounded. Otherwise, it'd be, it'd be all lumpy and bumpy. And Once you get it to there, you've got to fold it over. Take your time, don't rush it. Just fold it over gently. Don't try and um, tuck in the ends or anything because we're going to cut those away later. Try and make it a little bit tight so it's not too loose, yeah? That doesn't matter if it overlaps a bit, yeah? If I want to, I can take it out. If I think, oh, it's not tight enough, then it doesn't matter, just pull it in tighter. Don't just keep going if you're not happy with what you're doing, okay? The cling wrap will bind everything together. Once we poach it, we'll let them cool, everything will set. Bring your cling wrap in. Pull it in tight, okay, and then just roll it. Up to you what size you want to do it. You can either do it that fat, or you can make it smaller. No rules. If you make them thinner, longer, means you make shorter pieces, a little bit more delicate if you want to set up your platter. Me, I'm big boy. Big boy. If somebody wants to be a volunteer and give me theirs, I'll do it too. Anybody want to volunteer and give me theirs? This needs to sit for a while, but what we're going to do is we're going to seal it. Now we need to get that bacon smell. Don't overload it with oil because it lets out the fat from the, uh, from the bacon. If you cook this too much, you're going to dry out the outside. And you don't want to dry out the skin. You want the skin to be moist. And you also want the bacon not to be too crispy because it's hard to work with. That looks beautiful. Look at the colour. And also, don't be lazy. If it's not stacked right. Mainly, you eat with your eyes first. Oh, now it looks better. I think the most interesting is the, um, the roll-up chicken, where you can boil it and then you can cook it later. Yeah, that's something that's very new that we learned. Mm. Yeah. Which we always wanted to learn. <laughs> How to roll <laughs> Yeah, roll the chicken up. I liked the, 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 the cylindrical parcel of, of chicken um, with the stuffing inside, with the ricotta cheese and uh, the red peppers on top and the little garnish of salad. So that was very nice too. Well, I think the chicken was definitely uh, different from what you get in the normal, you know, supermarkets. Um, it is juicier, tender and better, I'd say, yeah. There's more meat.